brand new at six, Pitt School of Medicine is calling it a game changer. Their new synthetic blood band is just for animals, but Channel 11's Nicole Ford learned how it could one day help everyone. It's happening inside a lab in Oakland. I mean, this is truly very transformative science that could lead to saving again tens of thousands of lives per year. A team of three at Pitt School of Medicine are putting together years of work and a decade of research. The end goal create synthetic blood for humans. Now, the goal is to make this product um, dried so it is um, easy to reconstitute um, and to make this shelf stable. One of the main limitations of blood and blood products is that they have a shelf life. Dr. Matthew Neal says it's a real problem, citing an example from just last night when he saw a patient transferred in from a small hospital just a few hours away. That patient was massively bleeding as a result of their injuries, and that hospital had only two units of blood available. This is the problem that we have to fix. We have to make the resources that are available at a level one university trauma center like UPMC Presbyterian available around the world. That's where this $46.4 million project comes into play with a national team, including our three local doctors. It starts with creating a synthetic blood bank for animals to start testing on animals if this dried blood substitute will even work. So we're talking getting treatment to people pre-hospital as fast as possible, on the ambulance, um, on the battlefield, as you know, at the point of injury, you could reconstitute this dried product and give it to a bleeding person and save their life. Well, it won't replace blood donors. Doctors believe it will supplement to help the ongoing shortages. The hope is to be able to give the product to anyone, no matter your blood type. In Oakland, Nicole Ford, Channel 11 News.